okay greetings again guys so here we're going to here's the continuation video of the repair of uh, this power strip which we gave the introduction video before so we already unmounted our power strip in the background and here are it here are the screws that we got from it and we use a screwdriver to remove that so here is our player our uh, power strip so first of all most of the most of the time what could be the problem is that is we could either have a short circuit but first the most important thing to check for when you open a circuit you should check for continuity if because it's very possible for discontinuity to be within the cables so we're going to test for continuity here so first of all let's check if all the conductors in the power strips are are, are uh, well are okay and there's continuity between them so let's check we we'll take our multimeter to the continuity sign that is here this this diode sign shows for continuity so we test for that okay so assuming this now to be our life that gets into because this is ac so we have no life and neutral so let us consider consider this uh to be our life so just for continuity so you see that this is linked to here so we have shows there's continuity and from here to here and to here so it shows this this line is continuous from here from here links up back to here links us to here so it shows that line is continuous so we take now for the return part so we take now from here so this one takes from here, taps from here to here, from here to here, and back here. So it is continuous, and from here now it goes to the LED which shines to show that the circuit is, or this appliance is on. So now having checked that, we also need to check now on this cord. If there's, if it links, for if the continuity between this cord and the conductors in the power strip so we're just really going to do on that so we test this on the first in the, the, the first uh life so you see there's continuity so it shows there's continuity between it but when you touch it there's no continuity had it been in red it means it could be a possibility that this these two wires have touched each other in between here so in that case i think you just have to discard all of this because spilling it to stress that is going to be a big problem and so tedious on your side. So we we'll test for continuity on the next side, which is obviously this, and it shows that there's continuity, but it won't read here. So it means these cables are perfectly fine inside. So now, seeing that we our conductor is fine, seeing that all the conductors in in the power strip link up very well, we are now going to test to our power supply to see if it works perfectly well now i showed this other head we tested it in the background and it was faulty so we replaced it with this new plug so we're going to merge this use our plier now to okay the ply is kind of slowing it down so i'm going to go in with my hands okay so we use the plier to cut this cable because normally it was this long we had this other this other cord included so we use the plier now to destroy to cut it from where we had the discontinuity was showed in the last video now to test from there now to make sure that our power strip is okay then now we can verify this now when we are certain this is working so since this is AC, AC means it, it is not polarized. So it doesn't matter which which cable you put, um, you connect it to. Since it's AC, it's alternating current. So it's not polarized. You could just fit any of the cables to any of these conductors. So this is our power supply. I'm going to off it first and plug it in. Since we are still testing to see if our circuit is going to run from this so i'm not going to cover it i'm not going to uh protect it that's uh
put insulation over it to protect it from short circuit so i'm just going to make sure i do that with my hands my bare hands so these two cables don't touch to cause a short circuit but if we are when we're mounting it back to, to send it to use in the home we're going to make sure we're going to protect this so that we don't we'll avoid any electrical fault or any electrical incident so now i'm going to on and we we'll test to see if our power strip is going to work now so from you see now the led that's the led in the power strip is on which shows that the power strip is on here is a volt method to show indicate the presence of voltage but when i'm going to turn it back i'm going to show how that works so but for now let's measure to see if actually voltage there is a voltage reading across this power strip so i'm turning tuning to my multimeter to the ac voltage since we're working with ac voltage i tune to my multimeter to the ac voltage section and i put it at 600 uh volts since my voltage since uh, our supply here is within 220 to 230 so i think putting at 600 will be able to carry that range so now we measure now to see so i think i place the multimeter this way so that you can see that you see our reading gives us 224 volts which shows that if you plug in your appliance here it's going to be supply it if it is within that rated voltage so we check now here 224 224 and here 224 voltage so shows our power extend our power mm -hmm. okay so afterwards we we have coupled back our power strip and you can see that it's working very fine as a mod we have connected to a modem and it's charging just perfectly well so we just simply mounted it back and uh, we have connected everything perfectly and it works so our voltage our voltmeter here is reading our led which was from behind that i showed is also is uh working well so it means everything is working perfectly well now so the problem that we had with our multi with this power strip was continuity the, the cables the conductors inside this uh inside this cord was uh discontinuous that is it had a a, a breakage in the cord so we resolved that now and adjusted it and replaced the head so you see how easy that was that that is is something if you have taken to a technician it will cost you maybe some thousands of your pocket to repair this now this is one uh, sample this is just one possibility of fault but other possibilities of fault as we must have seen in the theory classes that we have had is maybe the conductors could in a short circuit maybe the conductors luckily enough this is a good the the way the conductors of this one were being placed in this power strip was good but in others it's just a straight line so when there's a short circuit it easily just melts the holdings that holds the conductors that uh, it melts the the handles that holds the conductors together and when they touch each other it causes a short circuit and results in fire so thanks so much for watching hope it helped and i hope you've gotten something from this